Hey, kia ora koan in the hau ko em the ear. We are Science in a Van. And we travel all over New Zealand doing science shows. We blow giant bubbles and talk about mixtures. We fire rubber chickens on rockets and talk about forces. But we're coming to you live from our shed in the wonderful 275. Who knows? It's Friday night. It could be a noisy night. Or it could be a quiet night. We'll the see. 275 does many things. It's quite interesting and I love it. But we're coming to you live from our shed and we've got a make for you today. So we're getting our make on. Excellent. Um, don't forget to uh, go on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, put in the comments if you're watching. Oh, lots of people are saying hi. And to you especially. Um, yeah, so that would be really nice. If you're watching on YouTube, either live or on replay, please subscribe. That would be really helpful. Um, in this show, we've got some exciting news about next week. Um, so we'll tell you what's coming up for Science in a Van. Um, we're going to be doing a make. Oh. What did you do then? Just did that. Oh, I thought you were doing things behind my head. <laughs> um, and, of course, we're going to have... Joke of the day. Joke of the day, 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 day. So that's right. But we are going to do a make and we're going to get straight into it. Now, for this make, I'm not going to tell you what we're making. I'm going to make it and um, put in the comments if you can guess as we go through. Oh. The comments on Facebook, I believe we've got. Yeah. yeah. So comment on Facebook if I can't keep up you know what we're up to. So, um, I'm not going to give you exact measurements and stuff today because it depends on what materials you use and what your kind of outcome design is for this. That will make more sense as we go on. Now, I've got an old Science in a Van t-shirt here. It's got um, a few stains on yeah. it and that from experiments that went pretty nuts. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay it out. This is an old one. And I'm just <laughs> going to try and cut. It's kind of more of doesn't really show that bad on the camera, but this is a little bit more yellow and this is a little bit more mustardy. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just cut myself a piece of material <laughs> as large as I can get it from one side of the T-shirt. So the point is we are upcycling, reusing something that would be waste, okay? So uh, yeah. we're kind of reusing something. That would be waste. And to be honest, any half decent clothes we always give to secondhand shops yes. or um, Habitat for Humanity or whatever. But this one's pretty disgusting, to be fair. You yeah. probably don't see it very clearly on um, the screen, but it's every time we put it on and we forget and we go into schools, it's very embarrassing. So it needs to go. <laughs> it's we, done its yeah. time. And we kind of have really old science and adventure we really do kind of newish science and adventure and really new science and adventure so and really it's old. when you wear a really old one and then the i'm wearing a really old one and then it's wearing a really new one <laughs> it's really embarrassing we i look i look pretty rough so yeah. okay so let's put those down let's get a little safe there we are so I think that must be one of yours. I've cut a piece of material out of this, mm -hmm. and what we now need to do, can you move the clipboard, please? I would love to move the clipboard, Alan. Superhero helpful. We need to mark up an area that we're going to use. And what I do is I'll do it, and then I'll show the cameras what I mean. And I've kind of cheated a little bit. I have got a template. What? I have got a template You've been doing ready this, but I haven't been looking. for me to use. <laughs> so I'm going to put that on the middle. And my thing is about as wide as a sheet of A3 paper and a little shorter. And you'll see why. So I'm going to lay that there. Okay. And um, I'm going to take a pen. I'm using a Sharpie here. With all of our makes, I just want to make something clear. We do it with what we've got around. You guys can do it with what you've got around. You don't need exactly the same stuff. In fact, you're not if, have you've a got, <laughs> if you've got yeah, if you've got chalk <laughs> or something like that, chalk would really help you out now because these marks I'm making are so it's visible for you to see on the screen. And but chalk would be a good idea. And for us to do. But the problem is, is they're gonna stay there. Yeah. For quite a long time. So it's a bit of a shame I can't get rid of these marks. 
obviously I could wash it and stuff, but you know, there's there's things there. So the first thing I've done is just drawn a square on there and that. The next thing I'm going to do it's surprising how big it is, eh? is the take back of a t-shirt. ruler. Take my small metal ruler, which has disappeared. Right in front of you. The small metal ruler. Oh, the smaller one. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to have to get that because I actually need that smaller one for a reason. Oh, he's off. He's off. Um, very frustrated when Alan loses his tools because if you can see there, everything's going to place. So he might come back and it's probably going to be my fault because I probably borrowed it and didn't put it back. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, we are married as well. Was it my fault, Alan? So, I don't know. It was with the uh, stuff on the secret project we was working Ooh. on. So, my friend. Secret project. What we're going to do is I'll just mark a few out. Oh, yeah. Oh. So uh, from the centre piece of material, we're just going to mark lines. I'm going to do that all the way up to the corner, all the way down the other side, and across the sort of top piece. I'll show you that when I've done that. Em's going to tell you about some exciting things that are coming up, but I just want to say something really quickly. We are making a make here. Um, in, a, make, in an ideal world, this is where the YouTube channel normally goes... <laughs> And you see it all finished. But I oh, think yeah. there's something quite <laughs> beautiful. <this> <laughs> there's something quite beautiful about showing you how kind of long this takes. And I'm going to use a little bit of TV magic in a bit and say, here's one I prepared earlier. But I've always wanted to say that. Can I say that? The, yeah, you can say that. I'm here's taking on the shoulder. Really, yeah, I'd like to say that. And, a lot. Um, and what we'll do is I think it's worthwhile showing you how long things take and that there is a process into everything because um over the past year or so i've been doing a lot of woodworking one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen that's good one two three four five six seven eight sorry show my age so um yeah i've been doing a lot of woodworking and one thing i've got to really get a handle off is you know, some things take longer than an afternoon to work to do. So why is it you try and cram them into an after, afternoon? And all because someone else can do something quickly doesn't necessarily mean you can. So I Emily, have to share something with you. Yeah. Emma. Yeah. You know, Emma. Um, Hamilton. Cambridge. Cambridge. Um, no, don't be. Um, great comment. I used to love Art Attack and Blue Peter, so this feels a lot like that, the classics. There we Does go. Does make you happy? Uh, um, thinking me, Bob, Neil Buchanan from Art Attack is actually got an article out at the moment explaining how he definitely is not Banksy. The I, know, artist. I saw that. That was so exciting. He's like, it's not me. And for Can some reason, immediately. people are convinced that he is Banksy. Well, the me, I'd love to be um, accused of being Banksy. There we are. Sorry, that, that's like a dream. I have my suspicions. <laughs> I think it's mum. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, anywho, while Alan is doing all this stuff that I'm not doing, um, just to remind you, especially teachers, next week is actually National New Zealand National Primary Science Week. Cool. Newsflash, if you didn't know, don't panic. Um, the... I'm going to look at the clipboard because I get the word, the letters mixed up. The NZAPSE, the New Zealand Association of Primary Science Educators, have a really great website, okay? And they've got tons of sound, demos, experiments, um, the basics um, up on their website. They'll put our stuff up as well, which is really, really sweet. Ben's mum put that up for us. It makes me very excited. Um, I love New Zealand. Don't you? Everybody knows yeah. everybody. Um, so please go and check it out. I'll put a link up on the page later. Um, but next week is Sound Week. And if you've been following Science in a Van Live, we've actually done heaps of stuff on sound um, over the time. But Alan's cutting. You don't want to miss this, Alan. So, we've, uh, so we're going to post that next week. 
So there. Um, so basically, I hold this up. Um, I, I've got something like that. Oh yeah. And now nice. I'm going to cut it out, and then each of these lines I'm going to cut from the <laughs> edge into the middle. You'll see that in a few moments. So um, yeah, we've got so, some um, predictions coming through. Oh yeah. Because this is totally the scientific process. You're all guessing what Alan's going to be making. Emma's guessing that it might be a hula skirt. Oh yeah. I can see where you're it going. Might be now. Um, Not with my figure, darling. <laughs> um, anywho, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, so next week is like Sounds of Aotearoa Week. Um, like I said, go to the New Zealand Primary Educators website um, and they've got a bit of stuff. Go to our, our website. We've actually got a link to their page. So our website's pretty easy to remember, .co.nz. Um, so go there and there's a link uh, to all their stuff. We've got heaps of videos. We're going to be posting them on Facebook next week. If you want uh, a sneak preview, if you're doing your planning over the weekend, why would you do that? Of course you would. Um, you can go on YouTube and all the videos are up there as well. So um, you're very busy cutting, Ellen. Yeah. And also I was thinking. I love it how you don't really have to be really, you're not being really tidy. Like it's not it's um, it's not a criticism, it's an observation. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it, matter? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter too much. And I'm about Luckily. I'm about passing the information on to you. Yeah. And then you guys making it wonderful. But I will say this is one of the great things. That if you do do a little bit off and you miss a little bit or one bit ain't quite straight, it all comes out in the wash. It all looks good at the end. So you're literally um, just cutting along the black lines, but gonna... not the ones that are connecting to the big square, nah, obviously. Nah. So we're going for that hula skirt look. I can see where Emma was going with that. Also, my friends, I just want to say something. Emily's just beautifully told you a little bit, and she'll probably tell you a bit more, Hello. about our videos next week that we're going to share. If you're a student watching this, just kind of go into school, not too big-headed, and just say, you know, it's – National Primary Science Week, I would like to watch one of these videos. And, <laughs> and, and, and because it's a real shame. It's fun for all ages. Yeah, but also people <laughs> don't know and teachers can't know everything because there's so much stuff out there. But there is a New Zealand, not only is there a New Zealand Science, science week, week, there's a New Zealand Primary Science Week. I and the fantastic really cool. guys that are producing this and coordinating this are all volunteers. Yeah. There's an amazing really cool. resource out there, and it's about just getting as many people to use it as possible. Because the thing is, is you know, we put our videos up there and we've created that resource. So if one or a thousand people watch it, it's the same. You know, um, we can accommodate. Um, this is the note for affirmations. Are you ready? Yeah. Our friend Lauren. From London, you guys are making me smile so much through 2020. Wow. You make us smile, Lauren. It's so nice to hear from you. That's very exciting. Um, oh, that... no, watch out. Anna's on the line too. Hello, Anna. Um, Anna has got a prediction. Yeah. I'm loving this one. Octopus COVID mask. <laughs> <laughs> Could well be. Yes. <laughs> How did you know? So, really my good. friends, we, we've got, a, we've got <laughs> an update. So I've cut all the tabs around like this, and um, I hope that kind of makes sense of what it was and what it is now. And you're going to need to make two of these the same, two of these the same. So there's one. And? Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? I got distracted. Here's one I prepared earlier. Oh, it's my, it's my moment. Ready? Ready? Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Um, and here's one I prepared earlier, which I, he, he prepared. So, but it was good to say. Thanks, yeah. We're going to line this up on top. And what we're going to do is find, totally is find the top <laughs> black tab and the top yellow tab and knot them together. Now I'm going to use a reef knot or a square knot. It's got two names. Um Again, it doesn't matter. Whatever your favourite knot is, and I know everyone out there has got a favourite knot. My one is the Highwayman's Hitch. Hold but hey, there we go. Or the uni knot. But today, Everybody's got their favourite knot. Yeah, everyone's got their favourite knot. There is no if you've got a favourite knot. There we go. So I'm just going to use an overhand knot to knot the top two 
tabs together. Everybody's got their favourite knot. <laughs> so, sorry. There we are. So I've just knotted those two together. And now I'm going to keep doing that. And Emily's going to fill the time oh, yeah. with learning knots. Learning knots. Um, can I just say, it feels like a bit of a Science Museum London reunion at the moment. Oh, yeah. Um, Ella and I met while we went to the Science Museum in London. Are you going to say the joke or am I? The chemistry started there. The chemistry started there. Boom. Um, but we've got quite a few people watching that we used to work with. Nisha and Guyton, Lauren. Love you guys. Cool, man. That's so cool. Did you want me to help you? Because you look like you're doing a great job by yourself. Yeah, yeah I'm doing good. That's good because I don't have a favourite knot. All right. <laughs> do you want right. me to do something? No, I'm helping yeah. by being here. You're helping by being here. There you go. <laughs> you're doing a great job. It is like being back at the science museum. It is, isn't it? Anyway. That does sound familiar. All right. Um, hi, Margaret. Hi, Grace. Good to have you here. Um, this is so great. Oh, Emma's saying the true love is not. Oh, <laughs> see, dreadnoughts. Very good, Anna. Yeah, man. Oh, good pun there, good pun. Um, so I am, oh, I've got a list of what to so, talk about. So am I getting the idea that people don't have a favourite knot? Um, you're getting the idea, I think. So if it, you've got a favourite knot, you better put it in the Facebook comment now. Is it because just me? You're turning me into a liar. Oh, I, um, am I actually doing a live about knots? That sounds wonderful, dear. Mm. I think you should, actually. Um, I don't know if you can see it. You might be able to see it. There is a little thing up there about the 42 knots. Um, I think that could be a thing, Alan. I might yeah. just, yeah. Hi, Maya. Hi, Jason. Oh, man, everybody's here tonight. Okay, so I've got to do a thing. We actually are semi-organised. Well, Alan is, and I just play along. Look at him. He's working so hard. Um, so, thank you for everybody commenting. That's super, super fun. Um, just so you know, so this week, um, I told people right at the beginning, but just in case you weren't here, we've just been trying out new things. So we can only go into schools, we've decided. <laughs> Sorry, I keep laughing at the comments. We've only really decided it's um, safe for us to go into schools at level one. We're trying to really be committed to being the team of five million. So we don't want to um, go into schools unless... It's in level one. So that means we've got a bit of spare time in our hands. So this week we did three shows, right? Yeah. We're trying different times. So one, we did an after school show about four o'clock. We did a six o'clock show on Wednesday. That was quite popular. Yeah. And we revealed our typewriter. If you haven't seen it, and this is a thing of beauty, please yeah, go back man. and see the typewriter. And tonight we're doing this, mate. Well, Alan I, is obviously working a, very hard I, at zero o'clock. So I have a feeling that. Uh, hey, cousin Jack. Sarah from Idea Beans made some new friends on that video. We did the other thing. I think some people um, like the typewriter. Give us a thumbs up if you saw the typewriter reveal because it made me very happy. So my mum says, what about a granny knot? Spoken like a true granny. There you are. <laughs> I think <laughs> some of these are granny knots. Are they? What's a granny knot? Is that the double? No, granny knot is a failed knot. So if you tie a knot. Yeah. And it's not a knot, or not the knot you intended to tie. You called it a granny. That's not very nice to grannies. No. Nah. <laughs> There's probably a metaphor in there, but I don't like it. Um, so next week we are going to be posting all our sound videos up. But if you don't want to wait till next week, like maybe if you're a teacher and you want to do some planning for next week, um, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, and all the sound videos are there. It's under Sound Week. There's a playlist, so help us out. That's what we're doing them for. We just want to make um, learning and teaching a little bit easier and sharing what we know. Um, you're doing a great job. Did you want any help? No, no, no. We're good. Oh, that's good. Um, you just keep ooh, doing what you're doing. You're I doing know. I try. Um, I know what we need to talk about. So if you've been watching our I'm trying to be on Instagram more. I feel old. I'm not very good at keeping up with it. Um, but if you've been looking at our Instagram stories and our Facebook stories and stuff, there's been a few hints um, going around um, because we're working on a new project. Like I said, we're trying to be creative, trying to, you know, keep busy. Um, and we've been using our typewriter. We've been cutting a lot of things up. Um, Mum has lent us her um, little printer photocopier. Thank you. We've been using it a lot. We'll buy the new ink. It's fine. Um, <coughs> and um, 
we've been making something that you might be able to physically get your hands on. It's very exciting. So I've given you a lot of clues about that. Go back into the stories and have a look. And also has to do with joke of the days as well. I am very, very excited about it. If you know what it is, put it in the comments. I want to see if anybody's worked it out. Um, and other news, we used to go into early childhood centres heaps and heaps and heaps, but we stopped doing it because we had so many school bookings. But due to this lovely little virus, things have changed a lot. So we're actually going to go back into <laughs> we're going to go back into early childhood centres. So if you're in Auckland and you're keen to book us for the Bubble Show, the wonderful world of bubbles. Um, please get in touch. We'd love to come and see you. And we're hoping, against all hope, by Labor Weekend we'll be at level one or level none. Wouldn't that be amazing? Because um, we're at MoTap for another bubble weekend. Yeah, so that's a great opportunity for the whanos to come and see us. If you're in uh, alternative learning system and you um, like, you know, homeschooling and stuff, come and check us out at MoTap. And it'd be great to see you. If you watch our lives, come and say hi. I'm a live fan and let us know about that. <laughs> um, so when are we at Motown? Labor Weekend, which oh, is yeah. in October, right? It seems like sure. the 24th of October. Yep. Controversially, we never usually work Labor Day for very valid reasons, but we are this year. Oh, how COVID has changed us. Um, but Emma's got another prediction. Is it a reusable mop sweeping head? Ooh. Like, could he put it on his head and, like, be a mop? Is that what you're saying? No. Might be what you're saying. I'm just I'm just telling you what the people sure. want now. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, Sean is very excited. He is fizzing. Sure. <laughs> I feel like I should help. Can I tie some knots? Or not? Or not? See what I did there? That wasn't planned. That was very, very good. Cool. So... We're nearly done. We're nearly um, done. Em's going to um, just, um, she's doing a great job at filling in time. We job. weren't too sure how long this was going to take because, again, it's good to show you how long things do take. And as mm -hmm. much as I did make one of these this morning, we, um, we've we not made these before. And, you know, it's taking a wee bit Chase of time. Ah, uh, we got to right. But It's Friday night. Like, where are we going? Nowhere. I think the thing is, <laughs> is this is why I said don't worry about making it with us. It's a good thing to when, spend the weekend. I'm just laughing at a these. comment by Sean, but I'm not going to read it out. I think you should read that out in your head by yourself later. I am. Luckily, we're friends with Sean in real life. But not for long. <laughs> hey, um, Emma's got another prediction. Maybe it's a pillow. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> You could make you could make a pillow with this um, yeah, you probably system. Could actually. I think I know where this is going. Um, Natalia is saying level zero. Wouldn't that be awesome? Wow. I mean, I know you said an emojis, but I know what you're saying. Yeah. It'd be so cool. cool. Keep um, doing whatever you do to be safe. That's all we ask. We can only do what we can do, right? Yeah. I think you've only got a few knots to go. Yeah, I think I've got a bit lost oh, at some point. Oh, no. I was trying to make a knot joke. Oh, hi, Chantel. Um, so I, I feel like I can see you even though I can't see you. It's really great to see you, you know, sort of see you. You can see me. That's probably enough really, right? Um, Chantel, thanks for joining us. If you've I miss you too. Um, if you've just joined us, I'm putting my husband to work. He has been tying knots for like 20 minutes. You're amazing. If you stayed with us, you're incredible. Because I feel like the great reveal so is nearly upon us. We are we are almost, we, we are pretty much done. So, my friends, this, believe it or not, is a no so. A no so. A no so. No so. Oh, no so. A no sewing bag. Ah! And, you know, in believe company it or not, colours. You could put stuff in there. Now, Emily, what do you like to carry um, with you at, um, and be able to put in a bag and carry with you into other people's houses? Like when you go around your mum's house to eat her snacks. Which watch we do quite a lot. Mum lives only like a block or so away. Yeah. And I often take my slippers with me. Ah, so this, have you got your slippers with you? Uh, obviously. Yeah, there we go. Right now. It's, um, do you want both of this? Yeah, I've got my slippers on as well. There yeah. you go. So, bosh, bosh. 
And we have now got sawdust everywhere because we are. In I the love tent. it. And we've got a little bag for your slippers. So, my friends, you I saw it. how I did this. I did take photos of each stage as I made one this morning. You and did? we'll flick those up on Facebook it's after so this finish. Probably after the lentil roast. So, there we go, which I can smell at this moment. I can smell time. it too. I'm excited. And they're wrapped up in there. So, my friends, what we need to do is think about reusing old materials. That's right. Now and then, the old materials will cause hassles they might be the wrong shape or the wrong size and we need to work around that but here it does us a favor i've used the hem of the t-shirt as the top of my bag so i don't need to worry about that frame oh, also you might want to think about is there a way that we could attach a strap so we could carry it is there a way we could design it Can to fit it? other things is there a way we could design it so it ties up or does up so the choice is yours. There's a lot of design stuff. Hmm, interesting. I like it, Ellen. Yeah. And Good job. Here's the one I made this morning oh, as do, well, do, do the thing which again. is all yellow. Here's one I prepared earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier. And what I noticed is they do make pretty good hats as well. So you could mop the floor with that. I could mop the floor with that. And so, it's like yeah. dreadnoughts as well. Anna, you're right. And you could turn, it in, turn that one inside out. Yeah. And you hide all the tassels. You can cut the tassels as well, or you, you could wear it as an awesome hat as well. Jen so, says it's American. I don't know what American is. Okay. It's only a Google away. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's learning. I think there's a sci fi link there somewhere. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching, everybody. Just yeah. a bit of fun. Let us know. Um, <laughs> Sean likes it. Cool. Good save Sean because he's going to read your comment later. Um, but thank you for watching. It's great to be with you, even if it's only virtually. Um, and you know what? The time is now. Roast time? It's totally lentil roast time, but it's also. Talk of the day. Talk of the day. So it's a bit of a riddle for you today oh, rather no. than a joke. It's a bit of a I'm riddle of that. What do you, Emily? A sewing needle and a potato have in common. What do you at home, Emily, a sewing needle and a potato have in common? This is something we never share joke of the days, by the way. So I never know what's coming. And if I choose them, Ellen doesn't know what's coming. Is it something to do with eyes? They all have eyes. Yes. There we yes. go. So. You, Emily, a sewing needle and a potato, all have eyes. That was Joker of the Day. I hope you've enjoyed this show. And please, my friends, remember, be like a proton. Stay positive. <sighs> Yay. Thanks for your comments, everybody. Have yeah. a lovely weekend.